Welcome to the Ganesh Group. I'm Dinesh Ganesh. I'm Nisiko. I'm Michaela. And I'm Gabby. And together we are the Ganesh Club. This is our first YouTube video, guys. I hope you like it and I hope you like our little family. And don't forget to share, subscribe, and give us a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to turn our notification button so you can be notified every time we post a new video. I hope you like this video. I was working it when I saw this gorgeous girl by the counter that caught my eye. Eventually I built up the courage to ask her out on a date and luckily she said yes. We met at a local restaurant around my area. Even though here she lived across town, she still made the effort to meet up with me. I bought her flowers and apparently I was the first guy ever to buy her flowers. Thumbs up to that. We talked, ate, laughed. We had an amazing spark and immediately hit it off. That turned out to be the best date of all dates. Yep, I was in love. A year and a half went by and accidentally we fell pregnant. I was so nervous but excited. Hmm, well, this was unplanned. We were more devastated on how to break the news to her strict parents. Understandably so, she was daddy's girl and we were both young not ready to be parents. Although we were both employed and independent, we were very confused on how to become parents. Sure, or if ever we are ready or not, we made a promise, whatever the decision. I've always wanted to be a father, and as an adopted child, I've made a promise to myself that unlike my biological father, I would never abandon my future kids. Well, to cut the long story short, nine months went by so fast before we knew it, we were blessed with a gorgeous angel, Humulimo Michaela Mutswan, soon to be Ganesh. She was perfect the moment I held her in my arms. The first time, it was breathtaking. I knew that this little one was my second love. Things finally took a turn for the better, and that was the very beginning of our family. Our days at the hospital were over, and yes, finally, it was time to take my girls home. Well, not my home, her parents' home. In African culture, if you're not married or traditionally married, then you'll need to raise your firstborn baby at the birth mother's home. Rules are rules, I guess. Little that we knew, things were about to change from better to worse. Well, Lesejo's parents had separated at that time, and her being daddy's little girl, she made the decision to go to daddy's house to raise our daughter until she was fit enough to go back to work. What a challenging decision she took. She spent her first few days at home. Seeing though I wasn't allowed to go through at night, she did all the late night duties by herself. Culture rules. We were clueless about parenting. We googled our way, not being the perfect parents, but the best for our daughter. And with a bit of help from relatives, months and nights that were unpleasant turned out to be a joyride. We never looked back. A few months went by and I got to ask for a hand in marriage. <laughs> yeah, in our culture, it's called Lobola. Lobola negotiations went well. And before we knew it, we were married in customary law. My wife pursued a career in direct sales management and I continued working very hard managing the club. It definitely wasn't easy parenting and working. Spending time with the family was very important. And even with our busy schedules, we promised each other to make time for one another, no matter what. I felt my job was a lot easier, less time consuming. So for me, spending time with Michaela was a walk in the park. Where else? Yo, Lesejo's job, it was physically and emotionally draining. The work trips, the crazy hours, the pressure from the bosses. Phew, I felt so bad. But even with all that, my beautiful wife stayed focused and never broke her promise, making time for the family. It made me even work harder on being a greater dad and a husband. Years went by 
and really we got hang of things and we enjoyed and loved being parents so much. We still felt that hmm, family wasn't entirely complete. Should we get a puppy? Nope, you. <laughs> Lesejo is very scared of animals. Oh, getting a pet wasn't the answer. It was time for Michaela to get a sibling. Before we knew it, yes, we were pregnant again. With our second baby, Gabriela Kanya Motswani, also soon to be Ganesh, the missing piece to our puzzle was finally complete. Thinking that life would be harder, instead it became a whole lot easier. This little girl put smiles on our faces, especially her little sister Michaela. Finally, she had a best friend, my third love, and we were now a family of four. We did all the stuff a regular family did, taking walks in the beach, going out for lunches, playing board games, taking family vacations and an extra cups of coffee. We put all our love into these little girls till this very day. To me, time and love makes a happy family. Yep, this is my family guys and I'd love for you guys to come and experience our daily lives. Family looks different for everyone in the world. Like Mother Teresa once said, to change the world, go home and love your family. That's exactly what I intend doing. For more fun videos and to see my daily life with my small family as a young dad, like, subscribe to our channel and press the bell button for notifications on our new stories.